Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We're gonna continue talking about the confidence interval. We'll work a couple of simpler problems. Uh, we're not gonna get into the full glory here on how to ca calculate these confidence intervals just yet. I wanna solidify some more uh, fundamental concepts with them first. So these problems will be fairly simple in retrospect, but they'll be important for you to build your knowledge and understanding. So here we have the first problem. A survey of 200 males shows that they read on average of 15.7 hours per week. If the margin of error is 2.2 hours at a 95% confidence level, construct the confidence interval. All right, so there's two key things that you need to understand before you can solve this problem. The first thing is, we discussed previously that when we take a survey like that or a sample like that and get the uh, sample mean, that the point estimate for the population mean is going to be equal to the sample mean. So here we're sampling 200 males, showing how often they read or how much they read, 15.7 hours a week. Um, we're trying to find a confidence interval. That confidence interval is gonna tell us how many hours per week the uh, population uh, will read at, and it's gonna be a bound, you know, a lower bound than an upper bound that will contain the population mean is what we're trying to do. So let's write things down. We know from the problem that the sample mean is equal to 15.7 hours. That is what we have surveyed, 200 males, right? And we also know the margin of error, E, we said we would denote that with E, is 2.2 hours. So this is hours and hours. And we need to calculate a confidence interval. Very, very simple to do, really. Once you understand and remember that um, the mean plus the... Uh, margin of error is 15.7 plus 2.2, that will give you 17.9, and the mean minus the margin of error is 15.7 minus 2.2, and you get 13.5. Now if you remember from previous discussions, we said that whatever we get for the sample mean, we're going to take that as a point estimate uh, for our population mean. 15.7. So in other words, we surveyed these 200 people. We're going to assume, since the survey result uh, resulted in an answer of 15.7 hours, we're going to assume that the center of our confidence interval is at that, at that point. We're going to assume as a point estimate that the population mean of the whole population is 15.7. We know that's not right. That's why we're given the margin of error. And so this confidence interval is going to extend up from the point estimate to 17.9. And it's also going to extend below that guy to 13.5. So do you see how the uh, point estimate lies in the center of this thing that we're calling the confidence interval? So the way you write it down 